Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Anyone using Facebook knows it targets users with advertisements based on their online activity. It's a process that helps PR and marketing firms like Saks Media Group in the state capitol reach their target audiences. We have smart people who know how to use these tools properly and dial up the technology in the right way. It's ethical and it's legal when done that way. After an estimated 87 million users had private information, like their political affiliation and religion, shared with third parties without their knowledge or consent, Florida Attorney General Pam Bonney wants to make sure Floridians' data isn't compromised going forward. We want to know why this happened, and of course we want to prevent it from happening again. Bondi's in the process of setting up a meeting with Facebook executives to address some of the privacy concerns. Our privacy in the country and especially in the state of Florida with all the Facebook users is very important and um, and we've got it we are going to follow up on that. While Facebook shares much of users data by default you do have the ability to manage what's shared by going to your information and in ad settings you can see your ad data and remove categories you don't want advertisers to see. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg is scheduled to testify before two congressional panels on April 11th. Bondi hopes more will come to light about how Facebook handles users' information between her conversations and Zuckerberg's testimony. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.